given where we're headed, what is the likelihood we may have to go back to wearing masks indoors, even those of us who are vaccinated by the fall? And similarly, is school at risk? Going back to in-person school, is it at risk, do you think, come fall? You know, the answer is everything is on the table. I mean, I don't want to be saying this is a risk or not. Then it becomes a sound bite that's taken out of context. I think what we're seeing now is enough of a dynamics of the outbreak that you've got to do the best you can to contain it. The best way to do that by far is to get vaccinated. Now, you're starting to see in cities like Los Angeles, recently the American Academy of Pediatrics has said when children go back to school, given the dynamics of the outbreak with the Delta variant, they're recommending that children, whether you're vaccinated or not, wear masks. The CDC is not there yet. The CDC still says that if you are fully vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask indoors or outdoors. But with that as a background, there are local enterprises that are saying, you know, given the uncertainty of the number of people that are vaccinated in the community, given the fact that there's an uptick in infections that we are clearly seeing with this Delta variant, many are recommending that even though you are fully vaccinated, when you are indoors in a community with a high level of infection, in an area that does not have a high percentage of vaccines, you may want to consider wearing a mask even if you're vaccinated. And even though that isn't the precise definition that is get from the CDC, the CDC does provide a degree of flexibility that if you are in a situation, even if you're vaccinated, you have the discretion of going the extra mile of protection by wearing a mask. And I think you're going to see the same sort of recommendations as we get into the school year. The American Academy of Pediatrics has already gone there. What we want to see is what happens as we get into August, the end of August, the beginning of September when the school year starts, to see where we are in the outbreak. And then you'll be hearing recommendations from the CDC whether or not they would change any from what they are right now.